Hey everybody, I'm Jennifer and welcome to Mint Green Skies for the love of everything mint green. Well, I'm back and unfortunately I still haven't figured out the smoke detector situation. So we're just going to have to continue to roll with it. I apologize. Maybe by week three I can get it together. And I decided I'm also going to wear mint green in every episode. Even though this might not necessarily be the item I'm talking about, I thought in the spirit of things I should at least dress the part. So this t-shirt is from the Children's Department of Target. It's from a new line called Cat and Jack. And it's a mint green um, rounded collar t-shirt. And it's got silver sparkles on it. And I really like the shirt. I have it in several different colors. I got it in purple and I also got it in blue. But the blue one does not have sparkles on it. But that's besides the point. I will link it below. This is not the actual item of the week. The actual item of the week is this trash can. I got this from Ikea. As you can sort of see, it was originally black, but I thought it would be an awesome idea. I put it in my craft room. I thought it would be cool if I could spray paint it mint green. So I attempted to do that a few months ago. And the spray paint I used was this Rust-Oleum American Accents in the color Glo Ocean Mist, and it's in a gloss finish. And I don't think this was the right choice for this project. I think the color is awesome, but I had to basically use the whole can of spray paint to get enough coverage on the trash can inside and out. And it probably would have been easier if I'd used a white trash can. Oh, sorry, I thought there was a bug on the wall, but there's not. I apparently am crazy and I'm imagining things. But I probably should have used a white trash can because I wouldn't have needed as many coats. So at first, this looked pretty cool, but then the paint has really been chipping off. So finish, not so great. Oh, by the way, this trash can is only $1.99. So it's a pretty good bargain. But yeah, the, the, the spray paint job hasn't really held up very well, as you can, you can very clearly tell. So take a look at that here. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I could try to repaint it or I could just kind of keep it as is, which is my current plan. But I use this as a trash can in my other sewing room. And uh, it's, it's quite a nice size. So, but yeah, this, uh, I was a little disappointed because the spray paint, it says that you can use it, it says ideal, it says fast drying, bonds to plastic, it says it right here. Didn't really bond to this plastic. I don't know if I should have done something different, but the finish on this wasn't real shiny or glossy. You know, it was texturized. So I thought it would be okay. I don't know if I needed a primer. If you have any spray painting tips for me, please let me know because obviously I need some help. And it says ideal for indoor and outdoor wood, metal, plastic, and more. And more. So I don't know what's up with you, Rust-Oleum, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if this was the right the right decision but I do really like the color so if you ignore if you can ignore all the paint chips it's cool so this is my uh, mint green item of the week although you you sort of have a bonus item too you find it anything mint green out there that you uh, would like to share with me because obviously I can't get enough of the color mint green please let me know and if you love the color mint green and you'd like to join me Feel free to subscribe and hopefully every week I will have another item for you. I will see you next time. I'm Jennifer.